Hey guys, we're at it again. Yesterday we was at Rickwood Cavern State Park. Uh, today uh, we're heading down to New Orleans. Uh, we just got through Tuscaloosa, Alabama, started from northern Alabama. Um, took us about an hour to get to Tuscaloosa, which should give us five more hours to New Orleans. So uh, stick with us and we'll keep you up to date. All right, well, the trek continues. First pit stop was in Union, Alabama, Union, Alabama, the home of Green Track, which I don't think they're racing Greyhounds anymore. I may be mistaken. A um, little bit here, you got South Fork Restaurant. Then coming around, you got a Chevron, and we'll reach out to Texaco. Uh, Texaco has a little deli inside. All types of good stuff. Uh, chicken wings, chicken fingers, uh, fried chicken. I got me some corn nuggets, uh, a few chicken fingers. Uh, everyone really friendly here in uh, Union, Alabama. Hey guys, here we go. This is the Tennessee Tom Bigby Waterway. Entering Sumter County. Waterway to New Orleans. station as you first enter Mississippi. As you can tell they got a little bit of a backup there. This first exit in Mississippi is Kiwani. Exit number 169. And there's our 18 wheeler friends. We're now on I-59 going south. Just passed through Meridian, Mississippi. And just to let you know, as you get outside of Meridian, there's still I 2059. And uh, maybe just uh, two or three miles outside of Meridian, you'll come to the 2059 split. If you're going to Texas, stay on I 20. If you're going to New Orleans, stay in the left lane and get on I 59. As you can tell now, we're going to go here to South Enterprise, Mississippi. Make a little pit stop. We are now going through Laurel, Mississippi. Still on the interstate. Video. Yeah, that's right. We're going to the pool. So you have to leave. If you're in the Royal Tower, you leave that section. You come over to the Iberville Tower. And then you take the elevator to the 16th floor. Hey guys, got another episode of Welcome to My Crib. So today we're at the Hotel Monteleon. Uh, we just got here a couple hours ago. We've already been to the pool. Sorry about the hair. Wife's in the shower. So I ain't got the brush. But here we go. We're going to do the walkthrough. Let's just check it out. Yeah, so here we are coming into the room. Hotel Monteleon. And this is a two, 
I guess queen beds, yeah. You got two queen beds here. <clears throat> On your right when you first come in, you got a sitting chair, got some artwork, a old map of the initial outline of the French Quarter. Nice lamp with some details there. Um, it's hard to take all this in when I first popped in, but you know, the mirror, you know, it's awesome. It has that gold trim on it. Again, a little bit of architecture work. You know, you got the obligatory the Keurig, Keurig coffee maker, the official Hotel Monteleon telephone. Uh, coming on through here, uh, again, the two beds. Uh, we got this huge, huge, I don't know, I want to call it a Schiffer robe, but that's probably not what you call it. <clears throat> but you got two places here, his and hers. Oh, I didn't even notice this when we first walked in. I'm not kidding you, I did not even notice this. You have two fluffy bathrobes in here. I guess we'll try those out later tonight. Anyway, moving on. Uh, here, I'm sure it's going to be some type of TV. <clears throat> yeah, you got TV. Got your safe there. A couple of whiskey tumblers. Got your ice remote. It's right there. I'm going to shut this back now. This lower section. Yeah, just some drawers. His and hers. Drawers there. Oh, we got a little fridge. So you got two complimentary... Nice things there, and usually they have stuff in here. But I guess with everything that's been going on, they haven't done that. But yeah, this all yeah, two complimentary official hotel Monteleone artisan water. I'm sure is good. I'll give that a try a little bit later. <clears throat> and same thing over here. And my wife's got her clothes in here already. <clears throat> And there's the door to the bathroom, which we'll do a detail on. Ooh, right, sorry about that. And the two beds, you know, artwork looks cool. Over here, as far as your tech, you know, you got data ports there, a place to hook in your cube if you got it, so on and so forth. Not much down here. They used to have these big. Uh, white telephone books. You know, you have the white pages and the yellow pages, but probably a lot of you don't know nothing about that. Um, also, let me show you this. I didn't even tell you today is June the 9th, 2020. So, you know, that thing's still been going on, and they've been having to make changes due to everything. Don't want to get demonetized, but on here there's uh, some references to that. But the uh, hotel here just reading. Um, this little paper they have, you know, the hotel's been here 134 years, you know, you got dinner until 9 p.m., pool's open until 7, uh, there's no in-room dining currently, and of course the spa's not open because of all that stuff that's still going on. Um, looking outside over the French Quarter, and you're on the French Quarter. This is uh, Royal Street. You're just one street over from Bourbon Street. Uh, right that center brick building, you know, that's Bourbon Street right there. Apparently that's a hotel too, I don't know which one that is. Uh, but you got a pretty good, you know, view here. I mean, you can upgrade and get on the other side and see the Mississippi and all that. And uh, But I'll save it for you towards the end of the trip for when we leave. Uh, currently, these rooms are at a steal. Typically, heck, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you. Typically, these rooms, in season will run 350 to 500 per night uh, currently in here tonight for 118 yes in here for 118 always want to stay at this hotel oh I didn't even show you look at the chandelier yeah is that not cool I'll show it to you at night time yeah it'll look better than that. I'm sure that's some sort of old-fashioned lights there or that yellow glow type look but I'll show that to you later but yeah so if you ever wanted to stay in a historic hotel 
in uh, New Orleans and you don't mind having all the amenities available. I mean, really, the only thing that's not available at this hotel is the spa and room service. I mean, <clears throat> it's each to their own, but everything else is open. The pool is open. I mean, had a lot of people at the pool today. And uh, so that's it for now. So what now? Hello. Now we're going into the restroom here in your hotel room at the Monteleon. And uh, yeah, as you expect, you have granite, granite countertops, a little bit of gold there, excellent lighting. Shower is awesome. All rock, plenty of towels, plenty of shampoo, soap. Just everything you want. The floor is granite itself. So uh, I have to give this a double A plus on the restroom. So for better. Well, the chandelier is actually brighter than what I thought. It was at the antique bulbs what? that I thought, but what? that's okay. Uh, anyway, we're underwear. back here at in one in the morning, and uh, this will end it. Hey YouTube, this is the time of the trip that everybody hates. Yep, got them all lined up. Got all the bags lined up, and it's coming to an end here at the uh, Hotel Montleon. And the room is still intact. Everything looks good. And got that. Walking down through here. I already showed you the bathroom in the previous video. And this is a view out of the ninth floor. And there's the uh, High class furniture store across the street. Again, we're on Royal Street. Pretty much right at the end where it borders the canal. And a pretty good location in the French Quarter. We've enjoyed the trip. Hope this short video series, well not series, but short video has been helpful for you. Um, people ask about the beds. Yes, beds were clean, stainless, excellent bedding, excellent mattress. Uh, no problems there whatsoever. And this is it. Um, so this is June the 11th. And as I've said on a previous section, uh, this Saturday, the, um, that will go into phase two, which will be... 50% uh, seating at all establishments. If a bar s serves food, then the bar can have 50% capacity. Of course, the uh, dance floors will not be going on. Uh, anyway, hope this was helpful for you.